Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today I am back with a brand new budget video and for today's video we're going to be closing down and give you guys my result for my monthly budget for April. Now I have been, as you guys know, for April, I have been quite a mess and in such a struggle bus just because me and my girl Erica from Erica Life Vlogs had been collabing on budget videos for the whole month of April where she took over my monthly budget method and I took over her paycheck to paycheck budgeting. Most of my paycheck spreads, as you guys know, I made them in this Erin um, Condren Petite Monthly Planner. Just because, as you guys know, I get paid on a weekly basis, so I wanted to go ahead and have spaces for my first paycheck, second paycheck, my third, and at the end of the month, if you guys have been watching these videos, you guys know that I combined my fourth and fifth paycheck just to make it a little bit easier and less time consuming for myself. So this is how everything looked like. Now you guys know how it is that I set up all of my spreads in my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. And, as you guys are, and if you guys are wondering, I do have the seven by nine size. Now, as you guys know, although the Deluxe Monthly Planner does have a lot of pages that you um, have to really do whatever you want with them, I didn't have space at the end of the month to really lay down all of my paycheck spreads. So I'm glad that I went ahead and did this on the planner just because I knew that I was going to mess up and that I wouldn't have space to do, let's say, my debt tracker and payoff plan page that I love to do for you guys. So what I went ahead and did at the end was I combined my first and second paycheck together and my third and fourth paycheck together, which is actually my third, fourth, and fifth. So this is how it ended up looking like. So the last two pages of the month, because as you guys know, the one after this is my May monthly budget section. I went ahead and did my debt tracker here. And I didn't take up that much space for my debt payoff plan because I was only taking account of April and May. So I went ahead and put my first paycheck spread here, which um, like I mentioned is both my first and second paycheck. And then for my third, fourth, and fifth, I went ahead and just um, labeled it as my second paycheck. Just so it looks more like her bi-weekly budget that she does. And it that's what fit perfectly in my in my budget planner as you guys can see. So I'm all done with all the numbers for my first paycheck, but now I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know on the second paycheck, which is going to be, be part of this results videos. Then I'll actually put all of my actuals for the whole month here my variances and then I'll kind of see through my variable income spread and sinking funds so you guys can see what has been going on there so I went ahead and laid down all of my budget expense stickers as well as I had already updated all of my cash envelopes so let's go ahead and take a look now I was really debating whether I wanted to go ahead and roll over any cash that I was left with to the next month but I've decided that whatever cash I do have left over in my cash envelopes that's going to go towards a separate savings that I will then put towards debt for the next month so that's just what I've decided just so I can all allocate all of my money and put as much towards debt as I can so these are the cash envelopes that I had for the month of April you guys know I have groceries gas beauty eating out and allowance and I actually did use these exact same cash envelopes for my main monthly budget but I sort of just changed a couple of the sections so we were looking at the 20th until the end of the month which was the 30th so first and foremost I do have a couple of no spend days so I'm going to take my no spend stickers well first let me take my payday stickers because I did get paid the 20th and the 27th so 20th 27th now I had a no spend oh I never marked this one I had a no spend on the 13th so let me put it there a no spend on the 20th on the 25th and on the 29th and the reason I like to put lay down stickers on my no spend days is just to make me feel a little bit better about myself and every single month I do think that I can do so much better in my budget but those little stickers and just really all these decorative things in my planner just really keep me going and keep me interested in my budget so that's the reason why I like to lay them down obviously laying down stickers is not going to be everybody's cup of tea but it definitely is mine so I do like to lay down these stickers. If you guys are wondering where the stickers are from, as you guys know, or if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that I have an Etsy sticker shop. So just a little self-promo there. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a look at 
my fourth paycheck and then whenever I'm done with here with this I'll go ahead and bring it onto my paycheck my second paycheck sort of spread here I know this is going to be really confusing so I'm just going to show you guys um the petite side of things and then I'll go ahead and update all these numbers um really quickly off camera so I have my little key here which tells me what these stickers are for I have my unbudgeted which is red my food which is all pinks and for food i do categorize both my groceries as well as eating out for that category i have my shopping which i categorize both my allowance and beauty cash envelopes my gas and just any other and i believe i have a couple of others because i did budget for graduation this month yes so that's just what I'm going to be looking at for now. So first and foremost, I am going to take my dual tip marker because I can check off all the bills. I pay my Bank of America bill, my T-Mobile bill, Spotify, Amazon, and I was able to pay off a big chunk of money towards my Bank of America travel. Which if you guys would have seen my April debt balances video, then you guys know that I've paid off my Victoria's Secret card. Super happy about that. And I am on my way to paying off my Bank of America travel card and my Forever 21 card. So I really hope I can make that happen. And I know I have all of you guys' support, so that really encourages me a lot to make to keep making content and keep coming out with stickers for you guys. So those are all of my bills. So what I can do is... I can put all of my actuals for my bills. So I had Bank of America, T-Mobile, Amazon, Spotify, and my electricity bills. So for Bank of America, it is the same exact thing. As, but for T-Mobile, I actually budgeted 115 because I didn't, I wasn't hundred percent sure how much it was going to be, but it ended up being. 112.22 so it was under budget there for amazon so for amazon it was 30 dollars i have no clue why i put 36 in here i just realized but it was 30. i don't know if i really want to use a white out because it's like so white compared to the sticker but i might just end up changing the sticker i think i have an extra one and spotify was $4.99 and then last but not least for electricity that was actually less than 120 but I'm going to write that it was actually 120 because I ended up just giving my parents the rest of that money to put towards um, other bills in the house which is totally fine so here we don't have any variances oh no wait we do there so we do have a variance here so our variance for T-Mobile is it's two dollars and seventy-eight cents. So it's two seventy-eight. That's a variance. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at groceries, eating out, gas allowance, beauty, and tithing. Um, I can, as well as my sinking funds. For sinking funds and tithing, that was exactly the same thing that I used. So I can go ahead and just write that there. Thirty-two. And the things that really vary would be my cash envelopes which are all the ones right there so let's go ahead and get started and look at our, both our cash envelopes now let's take a look at groceries the last time i saw you guys here i had 65 dollars left and i went to target on the 26 as you guys can see from the little pink sticker here and i spent 44 dollars so that brought me down to 21 dollars and i didn't go after that so i'm going to put that for groceries I had $25 left over here, so I'm going to put $44, which means that I was left with $21, so that's my variance. And I can go ahead and check that off. And now since we are in the pink stickers, let me take a look at eating out. I went to Taco Bell on the 22nd, that was $7, which brought me down to $25. Then I went to, I believe Broken Rice was at the mall when I went with my mom and my little brother. So I bought food from both me and her. So that was $20, so that brought me down from $25 to $5. And then on the 30th, I went to McDonald's after getting my nails done, and that was $4. So that brought me down to $1. 
So as you guys can see, I still have that $1 in here. And I can go ahead and show you guys my grocery money. I should have 21 and I do. So 10, 15, 20, and 1. Maybe I should do that as I'm doing them, huh? Okay. So <laughs> I have $1 left for eating out, which may not seem like a lot to you guys, but it is, you know. So then I'm going to put that I spend 25 plus 5 plus 1 is 31. So actual was 31, and I had variance of 1. <laughs> So that is that. And next we can look at gas, which as you guys can see from the little stickers here, I do mark gas with my purple stickers, which I don't have any of them from the 20th until the 30th, which means that I did not pump any gas, which means that I should still have those $6 um, from the last time in here, which I believe I do. Yes, five and one, I have six there. So let me take a look at this. So for gas, I did not spend anything, which means that I should have a variance of six. Then for allowance, which is all of my, well, all of my teal stickers are both allowance and beauty. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know which one's which. For allowance, I spent... I spent $12 on Etsy on a store called Pigtails and Pockets. Um, I didn't get any of her pen pockets because she didn't have them available, but she had came out with this really cute bow planner clips, which I am not too big on bow on planner clips, but they were a collaboration with Fox and Pip, which you guys know I've been super obsessed with within the past couple of weeks. So I bought that. So that was $12 and I took it out of my allowance because I did have money in here. Then after that, I went to Wetzel's Pretzels that day and I bought some pretzels for $9. So to, all together, I spent $21 and I had $37. So I, so I still have some money. I should still have $16, I believe. So 12 plus 9 is 21 which means that I should have $16 left because I did have $5 from the past paycheck. So 16 is the variance, and I can go ahead and count that for you guys. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There you go. So let me go ahead and check off all of my allowance expenses okay now last but not least we're going to go ahead and take a look at, at my beauty cash envelope now for my beauty cash envelope i had a couple of transactions as you guys can see first i actually went to sally's on the 26th i believe i got some hair dye that day which was 21 dollars and I had 72 from what I added from paycheck four. Then I went to Sally's again on the 30th and I actually went right after I got my nails done, which you guys don't see the transaction for my nails here just because I had enough money to pay it in my cash envelope, but I told my boyfriend that I was gonna go get my nails done. And I think it might've been because we were looking at this tweet and it was like some funny tweet about like a guy paying for like the girl's nails. The point is that he sent me money to get my nails done, which thank you, Paul, but... <laughs> yeah so once in a while he does like to do that which i mean i definitely appreciate it but i i did have money to pay for it just saying <laughs> so to be honest that day that i went to get my nails done i did not like them like at all i went ahead and went to sally's and bought a nail filer and a buffer to like file down my nails because they were not the way they look right now but that's another story so i went to sally's again and that was three dollars and since i did have some money left over in my cash envelope i also went to ulta um, and spent 23 dollars which I totally forgot that I went to Target and I just realized because um, I did pay with cash and had a receipt for it in my bag, but I was just like, what What did I spend this with? So then I went ahead and I thought I had purchased it with my allowance money because I knew that I wasn't going to have enough, but it turns out that I had taken the money out of my beauty cash envelope, so that, that made a lot of sense. I believe I bought a 
powder for myself that I needed that I just ran out of and then since I did have some money left over I went ahead and went to Ulta because I thought that I could just get a couple of things that I needed like foundation and under eye powder and stuff like that that I'm going to soon run out of and since I had money in my beauty cash envelope I said hey why not so I went ahead and did that so after all of that, um, I should have $16 left over, which I do right here. So we have 10, 5, and 16. So I'm really, really thankful that Paul paid for my nails, but <laughs> yeah, so um, I spent, let's see, because I had for my beauty $36 left over from the last weeks, and then I had 36 added to that. So let me see how much I spent. I spent 21 plus 3 plus 23 plus 9. I have 36 from here and 36 from here. I should have a variance of $16, which I do. So all the money that I've saved for my cash envelopes, which at the end of the video I'll go ahead and add it all together, that is going to go towards my um, debt for the month of May. So. Let me go ahead and quickly add all these numbers. So all together that was 652 21. And the variances are 16, 16, and 278. So 62 78. Now this was in my account which I'm not going to count towards what I'm saving for this month but all these up here will be counted. So I'm going to um, take out all the cash which should be $60 and this is what I'm going to put towards my debt for this month. There's lots of $1 bills in here. <laughs> okay, so let's see. have 60 in here so 10 10 20 30 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 and 60 dollars and just like that we have saved 60 dollars towards our debt for the next one so i'm super happy that i was able to save those 60 dollars now i'm going to go ahead and update all of the numbers for my second paycheck here and my budget planner just because i don't want to be redundant and then we'll go ahead and come back towards my sinking funds my variable income and then just looking at all of my expenses for the month okay so I've now updated all of my paycheck spreads in my actual budget planner so we can go ahead and take a look at first before I take a look at everything else we'll go ahead and take a look at my sinking funds which I did have a couple of transactions yes I actually got some my contacts which was $70 so I took that out of my medical fund now I can go ahead and quickly just there was no minus for these. I can go ahead and just make lines for the ones that they have no minuses for. Which are these? So car insurance, I subtracted $300. And medical, I subtracted 70 And then Paul's birthday was 28 So then here I can just add. 30. Here it's 150. For here should have 106. 50. That's 21 dollars. 350. This is 32. And this is $50. So that's my sinking funds all updated. Now once I'm off camera, I'll go ahead and add everything up. But the numbers should match the numbers that I put as my beginning balances for my May sinking funds spread. So that was for my sinking funds. Now quickly, 
let me go ahead and go to my variable income spread which I did have two more expenses that I had not noted so for my variable incomes I went ahead and added one more um, source of income here and that was for my Amazon um, just because if you guys don't know whenever I do put links to Amazon's they are affiliate links as well I always disclose all of my affiliate links I went ahead and just put what I got from Amazon just so you guys see that I don't get, let's say, like hundreds of dollars from Amazon. I got $14.18 for this month. I was not expecting it, but I've been having this Amazon account for like eight months and this is what I've gotten so far. So that was for that. And then I also did have my mom, which which this helped me pay the stuff for my graduation. And then I have YouTube and share sale, which all of these variable incomes are for. So the last two things that I didn't talk about that day were i got some fox and pip um she had an oopsie grab bag and vinyl grab bag sort of sale so i got one of those and then i got i purchased from rose color days because it was here two dollar tuesdays and she had a hobo stickers for like the yearly view and stuff like that so now that we have all that covered i'm gonna go ahead and go to my actuals for my groceries now since i do know my variances already i'm just going to go ahead and put that and then subtract my way to get my actual smile um, just because I've already done so much and I feel like this video is super long so let me go ahead and make some lines so I don't mess this up okay so um, let me start writing down the stuff that I already know so we had um, for my groceries I had a variance of 21 eating out was one Gas of six, sixteen, and sixteen. Electricity, no variance there. Phone bill, I believe it was two seventy eight. Graduation, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. No variance here. No one budgeted actually, which is amazing. And no variance here. I totally forgot and I feel like I always forget to put my iTunes here. Which is super great that I leave a space there. Because I know I always forget something. And I never seem to remember that it's that that I forget. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at groceries. So for groceries, I'm going backwards now. I'm just subtracting 21 from the 100. That means I spent $79.00. With this eating out, I spent $79 as well. For gas, I spent $104. For allowance, I spent $64. For beauty, I spent $74. Electricity, I spent the $120. Phone bill, I believe it was $112.22. Mom's birthday, I did end up giving her the $100. Um, no one budgeted. And iTunes was 99 cents. Now, for my graduation, we can go ahead and take a look at my monthly spread because as you guys know, I do have a couple of things like the yellow stickers that I have not checked off yet. And iTunes, I already marked it. So, and electricity as well. So, um, these three stickers right here are ca classified as other. So for me, my other for this month is my graduation category. So as you guys can see, I budgeted $350 for that, which was, I think, a lot of money. But I was under that. So let go, let's go ahead and take a look at how much I was under by. So I bought my cap and gown, which was $54.15. My graduation, party invitations, and various stickers for like the goodie bags. And the letters was $125.87. And then I got my dress and shoes from Lulu's, which was $63.28. So altogether, that was $243 with 30 cents. So before I forget, let me go ahead and check these off. So altogether, that was $243 with 30 cents which means that I was under by 106.70 and then the last thing that I have open here would be the amount for um, my Bank of America travel I left that open because I was going to go ahead and put more than the minimum wasn't 100% sure if I was able to pay 
the amount that I wanted to towards my $600 goal for the month, which I was able to do. So that was $510,895. So I paid $510,95 towards my Bank of America travel. And I'm so happy about that because I'm so close to paying it off, which I think I should be able to do for May. So wish me luck, you guys, with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all of these and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and added everything up and I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys how everything works and how it goes to my April budget um, side of the totals because I don't ever show my income. Now I am definitely thinking about this a little bit more and I might show a bit of my income, not everything. Just because in the beginning I didn't show it because I didn't feel comfortable with how much I was making and stuff like that. And I know that's something I should not be like worrying about, but I was. So that's just something that I hope you guys um, understand. I know a lot of people are get upset that I don't show my income, so I'm so sorry about that. But um, thank you so much to the people that are very understanding with that. So, what I do is for my variable income, which is as you guys can see, the second source of income that I have here in my income section of my April budget. So, once I subtract all of my expenses from my sources of income, I will go ahead and bring that number and bring it to the actual. Now, I've already added both of my um, budgeted amounts and actual amounts for both of my expenses, so variable and fixed. And as you guys can see, for my variable, I spent $976.51. And for my fixed, I spent $1,358.99. Now, once I will go ahead and add my hourly and variable income right here, I will go ahead and bring it to the actual as well as my budget for my expected side right here. And I will subtract my incomes from my expenses and whatever number I have left, I will go ahead and put it here. And this, what I will do is I will put towards savings or part of it, it will help me to pay towards my debt goal or I know a lot of people do debt snowball so that's sort of what I use this box for so I do try to explain to you guys as much as I can with how my budget works without having to show you guys my income so I hope once again that you guys understand and if you guys have any questions about my budget the way I budget what I use anything like that go ahead and leave a comment for me down below or send me a message on Instagram at Romina plans I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as my collab videos with Erica I will go ahead and leave a playlist for our videos down below for you guys to check out just in case you guys missed any of them as well as all of her socials so go ahead and follow her i hope this isn't the last collab sort of series or videos that we do together um don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already i hope you guys have an amazing day make sure to check out the links in my description box and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys